Welcome back to returning subscribers. Welcome if you are new to my channel. Today I have an amazing Dollar Tree DIY for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I created this fabulous farmhouse style wagon wheel using all Dollar Tree products and it only cost around $3. I am in love with the final result. I've been wanting a wagon wheel for so long and if you're at all familiar with them, you know how pricey they can run. So stick around and let me go ahead and get started sharing with you how I created this Dollar Tree DIY for this fabulous wagon wheel. Dollar Tree Wagon Wheel DIY. I'm gonna be using a large hula hoop, some of these extra long and extra large bamboo skewers, and some of this faux wood adhesive. I'm gonna be using some hot glue, a pair of scissors, and I'm just gonna use this candle lid as a template for a circle. I'm also gonna be using some wood stain that I have on hand. Dollar Tree sells markers that are like wood stain though if you don't have wood stain on hand. So how I'm gonna begin with this DIY is I found it easiest to cut long thin strips of the faux wood sticker adhesive and then just wrap it around the hula hoop. Now you'll see this is my very first piece, so I struggled a little bit, but as I got going, I really got a rhythm going and it got much, much easier. Don't worry if you have little bubbles, you can easily rub them out and in the end, it doesn't really matter because you don't see them. Now every once in a while, I would just take a piece like you see me doing here, wrap it around and then cut it just to really secure everything. Then you'll see here again, I'm just doing the long thin piece and I would say no wider guys than about a quarter of an inch honestly, otherwise it gets too hard to work with and wrap. Here it is all finished, looks beautiful. There you have it, your wooden wheel. Here you can see all I did was just lay out those long bamboo skewers just to kind of give myself a general idea. You can customize it here with as many skewers as you would like or as few as you would like for wheel spokes. Found it easiest to add just a little bit of wood stain to each spoke and then with a damp paper towel, just rub it in. This process went really quick. And now using a pair of scissors that allow me to pretty much cut through wood, I am just going to cut each skewer to size and once I had one done it was easy to do the rest because I just used the one as a template to get all the right length. From here the next step was simply to hot glue all the skewers in place. I wasn't too precise about this. If you want everything to be absolutely perfect you could measure it out. I'm not that overly fussy. I like rustic farmhouse decor and that kind of decor is more imperfect than perfect. So once I had everything glued in place, all I did was cut out a circle using the little circle template I had. I used that faux wood adhesive again on a little piece of cardstock for more durability and you can leave it just as is. Or by adding a few more colors and layers of the faux wood adhesive, you can give it an entirely different look. It's just whatever you prefer. This is what my wagon wheel looks like, all completed. You guys, I cannot say enough. I just can't put into words how happy I am with this DIY. I'm really looking forward to finding a home for this wagon wheel somewhere amongst my home decor. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope once again that I was able to show you that with very little time and money, you can create beautiful decor for your home. Don't forget to leave me your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see everybody back in my next video.